today I got a video that I've been meaning to do for a while now so I'm gonna go over using my do-it-yourself EEPROM programmer to uh, program the EEPROM on here which covers your odometer and a couple of other features on the board so this is gonna apply to your 00 to 02 model instrument clusters the the 99 uh, same process for getting into it and the odometer is the same but the rest of the bin all everything else that I go over on the bin does not apply to 99 so uh, we're just gonna go 00 to 02 in here so I recently saw a video that Jack Myers had posted he does instrument cluster repairs and uh, automotive repairs uh, he's got a channel for that. Um, that's that's what his name is. Channel is is Jack Myers. Uh, he showed this instrument cluster for programming the odometer on it, where you uh, desolder the 64 pins on the back of here, take this board off, put the EEPROM in the EEPROM reader, like a Mini Pro or a 4x4 video, probably a year and a half, two years ago, um, where I did that. It was probably only a year, uh, but yeah, it's it's one of my older videos is showing you how to do do that exact thing and um, I, I really don't like that process these these boards are um, have pretty crappy actually if we look at this this is actually one of my boards I did this to a, a long time ago I, I have a collection of these that I, I use for testing the the whole purpose of, a, of that collection was to figure out what else going on in the binary because it's really not well documented online of everything going on in there um so yeah let's let's go ahead and dive into this and uh get this put on there and show you the the easy way to program these in circuit so i'm gonna zoom in here uh maybe y'all can read my chicken scratch on here but i'll go over them as i put them on so i'm gonna start with just pin one and just go in order so this one's pin one just gonna be purple uh, pin 2 is one of the two orange ones. It's uh, this one, which goes right here. And then pin 4 is down here. Pin 5. You may have noticed we skipped pin 3. Uh, it's just not necessary, so we don't use it. Pin 6, which is up here, we will skip pin 7 and go straight to pin 8, which is this one right here. And the solder points are the same on the uh, 1999 instrument cluster too, so it's got the same breakout here. It's just a different bin, and I'm pretty sure it's a different uh, microprocessor on there. Uh, but yeah, let me zoom back out here so you can see what I did. So today, uh, I, out of necessity, kind of had to reverse engineer the uh, the EEPROM on here. So this one was one copy where I was just marking out what I knew and what I'd worked on and left other parts blank. And then this one's kind of highlighted with what I figured out from it. I mean, some of it I already knew. Most, the stuff in yellow I already knew. The uh, blue and pink is what I figured out in this but I have a better copy we'll look at it on screen and discuss it here but just wanted you to know what exactly we're getting into today and uh, let's let's get to programming it okay so now we have Arduino opened up we have the Arduino plugged into our computer and we have it wired into the computer so let's go ahead and go to the serial monitor and let's see we got a connection to it so let's read it and there's our dump from the EEPROM and it looks like a good read, so let's uh, copy this off of there. Copy. And we're going to go into our favorite thing to edit our bins in. And uh, the, my personal favorite is the HXD. Um, I really like using it, but you can use whatever you want. Um, and so now we have our dump from the EEPROM. And this uh, actually looks like it could be this bin here. Uh, nope, no, it's not. All right. Just looked kind of familiar. So, okay. So let's go over it. Uh, first, what most people are going to be interested in is uh, this section here which we'll take a look at it highlighted here. So so that section, this first group here, is your um, odometer, and then your engine hours is uh, this section here, your trip mileage is right here, 
and then uh, right so zero three right here that's gonna be the section that tells it when you when it boots up is it gonna boot up with the uh, odometer showing or is it gonna boot up with the uh, trip showing because you'll notice sometimes they have trip sometimes they have odometer uh, that's that uh, right there so zero three is uh, trip and uh, zero one is uh, gonna be to show um, mileage uh, and then uh, right here this 6f um, so there's a couple of different values you can put there uh, 6f means it does not have trans temp and it's a miles instrument cluster uh, 7f means it has trans temp and it's a miles instrument cluster then you have 2f and 3f which both give you kilometers i'm not sure which one is for trans temp and which one's not uh so it will the odometer will sh read in kilometers instead of miles uh there are other parts of this that i have not taken the time to figure out or just just i just haven't figured out um pretty much anything that's not highlighted right now uh, i either just don't know what it does or haven't taken the time to try to figure out what it does uh, but I do know that there's going to be a section of this that controls the speedometer. The speedometer tables are definitely on here, and I would assume your uh, TAC tables are on here too because the diesels have a different uh, tachometer. I, I believe that all of this information is on the um, EEPROM instead of the MCU in this case because I do believe that the MCUs are... Uh, mask rom on there which a mask rom means that it, it's like made in the die with that type of memory so you can't reprogram the mcu i couldn't find any data sheets on this mcu that's on here so i'm pretty sure it's a proprietary chip to gm and uh, i didn't notice anything that looked like it could have been a uh, a way to get into it to to program it um, now, just because you can turn an on and off um, T-Temp on here does not mean it's easy to add T-Temp to one of these. It's not like a, uh, a you know, 2005 instrument cluster where you can turn on T-Temp and then just put the uh, uh, thing on there. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch back to the camera for just a second to show you this, but I'm going to make the adjustment here and then... We will take a look at it on the camera and then flash this to it. Uh, so what I just changed, the, the byte rate here that I just changed is for the uh, odometer for it to show my, the, the odometer versus showing the trip when, I, when it boots up. So uh, I haven't flashed it to it right now. So that zero one meant that it was going to show the odometer when it boots up. So let's switch the camera back over. Uh, and take a look at that so you can see that I'm not lying to you and then we'll flash uh, what what we had and uh, make that change okay so we're gonna take a look at it real quick so I realized I'd never powered it up for y'all before I put this on uh, and I also off-camera added a uh, little LCD screen that goes here uh, I found this to be a good indicator to when you've messed up the bin if you put something that's just invalid uh, it, it'll freeze and the battery light stays on all the time. Sometimes you get like a little X on there, but it's normally just the battery stays on the whole time. Uh, so uh, I found that to be a useful uh, debugging tool is to just throw one of these screens on here uh, when you're trying to reverse engineer this bin. If you if you decide to go try to figure out what those uh, other parts mean, uh, maybe figure out which ones are the speedo tables and stuff. Because the speedo table would definitely be useful if you take... Uh, one of these, uh, say, say you had a 2500 HD, so it had trans temp, and you wanted to put the Escalade inlay on there. You could put that inlay on there, but now your speedometer is inaccurate because the Escalade goes to 120 miles an hour, so you need to have the correct speedo table on there. But yeah, let's power this up real quick. Uh, this one, you can actually leave this plugged in. Uh, it starts to get a little power from it, but other than that, it, it, it's fine. So let's go ahead and just power it up and take a look. So, you can see, I wasn't lying to you, the odometer comes up first, and uh, then, and you can see here that we have a good EEPROM on there, it's not, sw it's, it's switching through the stuff, it's not just staying on uh, battery. Uh, so, 
yeah, uh, you can see where it's getting a little power in there that's uh, turning it on, but it's not causing any any issues here. Uh, trip set to zero because uh, this one is one that uh, I've reprogrammed the odometer before in the past. You could tell because I had desoldered uh, the back. Uh, but uh, there's a trick to fixing this. So when you change the odometer on here, uh, you get stuck with a zero trip until you put it, put a couple of miles on there. So to fix that, we uh, go ahead and we're just going to give it a little square wave here by tapping that on there. If you get uh, like point, uh, 0.2 miles on there, you can trip reset it and then give it that and your your trip will continue to work after that. It'll, it'll actually save it. You still got to get it to like 0.2, 0 0.3, but yeah, you just tap it on off real quick on there. It's a down and dirty quick way to just give it a little square wave on there to put that uh, put that on there. So there you go. Just wanted to show you real quick that I wasn't lying to you about that. So now let's switch back to the other camera. I've now plugged the Arduino back into the computer, and let's copy this. And whenever you copy something from HXD, uh, you end up with all these spaces in there. So I always just use uh, the replace feature in uh, Notepad to just replace all of the spaces with nothing. Uh, and then copy and paste it. And let's open back up our serial monitor. Press 2 to write. And Control V. All right, so now we have written it to it. So let's switch back to the other screen and take a look at it. Okay, so let's power it up. And uh, I'm willing to bet that it's going to say trip zero again because, uh, as we discussed earlier, the trip data is stored on the EEPROM, and we did not read it again before we made the changes to it. So uh, although I showed you how to fix that, now we put the problem right back on there. But it should boot up with the trip showing and not the odometer showing so let's power it up and see what we get and sure enough we have trip and it says zero and there's our odometer so if you change that zero to a three and we didn't give it an invalid thing so it is still working correctly that concludes the video. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, show you now how to uh, program the odometer. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna set the odometer. We got the Taco Shit software opened up, and we're gonna go ahead and give it an odometer value of 999 kilometers because it's stored in kilometers on here, which is just the absolute maximum I can uh, put it at, and that gives us 12. F6, and let's just go ahead and edit this into here. So uh, it doesn't do the minor, uh, which is why I call it Taco Shit, is because it's not the best software out there. It's not going to give us a completely accurate odometer reading, um, but it is a good way to do odometer correction for a on a budget, pretty much. So let's go copy and paste this into uh, Notepad. And then we are going to replace all on the blank spaces there again. Okay. And copy and paste it and go into Arduino. In Arduino, go to Tools, go to Serial Monitor, and we're just going to click 2. And paste it. Send. And there we go. We've now done our odometer correction on here. It's pretty simple. Now let's switch over to camera so you can see it done. Okay, so that uh, 999 kilometers comes out to 621.37 on the mileage because this, this is miles. All right, so let's power this thing up real quick and take a look. We should get the odometer first and then the trip. This should be on the second page. All right, so yeah, 621.37. 433 so that's pretty close so, you know taco shit is not very good software uh and you can't buy it anymore it's like you, there's nowhere to buy it so it's a really crappy calculator i really suggest finding something else to do your calculations on uh if you need perfect you're not going to get perfect out of it but if this is good enough then uh it, it 
it'll get the job done. We gave it a valid program here because it's still uh, going through and cycling. It's not frozen and changing that uh, bit again made it, uh, well actually bite, uh, made it where it uh, is like that. Okay, so hopefully you liked today's video. Uh, if you want one of these, I am still giving away some of them. Again, if you've watched the giveaway video, it's not including anything. It's just the bare circuit board and you got to put it together yourself. Uh, it doesn't include the Arduino on it. Uh, but I am still giving them away, so if anybody wants one, I have uh, at least 11 more of them to give away. Uh, so just shoot me an email if you want one of those, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.